Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to a very unique video <laughs> where I usually talk to you guys um, about myself and what's going on uh, and what's going on with the channel. So it's a bit of an update video, I suppose, a very small update video. Um, so first thing first, I'd like to explain a bit about myself and uh, if, if some of you guys don't know, um, yeah, I have a full-time job, so uh, in between doing my full-time job and YouTubing, it's pretty tiring. Um, I wouldn't say it's pretty tiring, it's extremely tiring um, because my full-time job requires me to work from 10 to 12 hours a day. That's not inclusive of overtime. Uh, and the time that I wake up is probably a one hour um, earlier than my reporting time one what almost one to two hours earlier than my reporting time and um and there's still the, the time to travel from work back to home and vice versa so it is very very tiring so ending up within the day itself i might only have like um four to five hours of my own personal time um that's personal time to do my own chores and of course making YouTube videos so if I was really really tired I would end up doing my own personal chores and wouldn't have enough time to even do a YouTube video at all so yeah um, it's very very exhausting um, to do this and considering the fact that I'm not um, being paid for any of my YouTube videos right now because I can't monetize any of my videos mainly due to YouTube's new rules where you need at least a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and a view count of um, 10,000 hours watch time. So I've only currently gotten the halfway mark with about 500 plus subscribers um, with uh, watch time of about 3,000 or so so guys that's why I really appreciate it if you guys watch the videos all the way to the end um, the watch time is really really important and all that um, if you guys don't really like certain things about my videos do let me know in the comments down below uh, tell me how I can improve it um, or what things you might find interested to watch uh, you know that kind of stuff really really helpful stuff um, yeah, so um, in between working itself, I'm also an administrator of Macross Space Time Day Culture, if you guys didn't know by now. Um, I do a lot of time Macross content, I do a lot of updating for the Facebook group on Macross content as well. Um, so in between my work, uh, when I have breaks and all this kind of stuff, I'll always be ending up on Twitter to look for new content to share and post. Um, I visit Twitter almost four, four to eight times a day um, and usually whenever I do enter Twitter there is bound to be something um, very rarely will there be nothing uh, because the fans in Japan are probably on holiday or quiet or maybe even some satellite the company that does Macross as well or the official Macross um, Twitter accounts have nothing to share, no events, no special nothing. Yeah, so it's exhausting um, to administrate a Facebook group, um, to do YouTubing, to do a full-time job. And I'm honestly, I'm, I've been doing all this on my own finances. It's really, really um, painful on the wallet. Um, in the beginning run, hopefully I'm able to um, move off from all this and probably earn something from my YouTubing and all this so I really appreciate you guys um, for sticking around for so long especially for those who have watched my channel since the Pokemon era um, sadly to say I won't be going back into the Pokemon TCG side um, I do still play the video games like I did for Let's Go Eevee I haven't really gotten a time to continue off Let's go EV right now because the main hype is still Kingdom Hearts 3. That's why I've been dishing out videos. I've been trying to dish out videos. Um, uh, as of today, I'm um, as of today. It's actually the first of the Lunar New Year, so Kongsi Fa Chai 
Um, Happy Lunar New Year to all my Chinese um, fans and friends out there. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys get uh, big fat red ang pao's. Um, if you guys don't know what an ang pao is, it's actually a red packet. So hopefully you guys get big fat red packets with a lot of money inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, make your life uh, a lot easier with that spare cash. Um, yeah, so guys, um, that's pretty much my life um, right now for the past two years. Um, that Macross Space Time the Culture is... Um, I wouldn't say, no, it's not two years. It's It's been two years since I started sharing Macross content, but I wasn't on Macross Space Time the Culture first. But Macross Space Time the Culture is turning one year old soon. Hmm. Uh, my YouTube channel has been around for a very long time but I haven't really been focusing on a lot of major content for my channel. It's usually just my own personal hobby stuff from the beginning of my channel until now. Um, only now, I think only since the past 6 months or so, I started to get a bit more serious. I started to buy more equipment to help me improve um, my videos and all this kind of stuff. So I'm slowly getting there. Um, eventually, hopefully, I wish to um, bring you guys uh, more quality content. Um, it is pretty difficult, uh, especially with the amount of time I have on my hands. Um, yeah, so Uta Macross Gacha videos are probably the easiest things I can make um, and put it out on time. And I mean on time, <laughs> kind of. Because um, if if I was working and the gacha bound happened to be on uh, the time that I'm working a shift, yeah, it can be a bit of a, probably close to a half a day late to the gacha, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm not using a tripod right now, that's why I'm switching hands and you can see like this <laughs> my fingers or my arm my my palm is blocking the camera yeah um because my desk is kind of messy right now so i can't place a tripod on it um because i am tweaking um some of the equipment i'm gonna show you guys i actually bought um all this new stuff you know just for um YouTubing purposes, so yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out how to make use of this um, for future videos and, and vlogs. Um, yeah, so a few of the things that I probably might want to mention. Um, I think some of you guys probably joined my channel back when I did uh, my first vlog for the Kingdom Hearts World Tour Orchestra that came to Singapore. So, big news! I will be attending the second one that's coming to Singapore. Um, it is not exactly the second World Tour um, concert. It's actually the third one right now. Um, but this is the second one that is coming back to Singapore. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I'll be attending the second um, concert for Kingdom Hearts Orchestra. This time it will feature the songs or the background music for Kingdom Hearts 3. Pretty exciting. Um, I really really love the soundtrack for Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, yeah, so very very um, excited to hear it live. Uh, being performed by an orchestra and all that stuff. Alright, so moving along. Um, beside the stuff that I'm facing every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so the other thing is I've been putting this on hold for a very long time. I haven't really gotten a chance to mention it except if you followed me on my Facebook uh, page for my YouTube channel. Um, the link is in the description down below. You probably know what's, uh, what I'm going to talk about next which is regarding this. So um, another fan of this series watched my video um, that I made years ago. And I mean years ago. Um, yeah, this game was for the 3DS back then. 
uh, it's to show to run for money if you guys don't know what this is i highly recommend you to go and try and find um, the videos for this game show it is a game show a live action game show that um, was very popular um, because they featured celebrities in japan like akb48 um, then we have all the drama actors and actresses plus singers and all that stuff where they run from hunters the men in black suits with sunglasses they try to catch them basically it's a, um, a live action um, catching game um, with a timer and that timer will count down when the prize money will actually gradually increase um, due to the timer and so yeah fantastic game show um look up for it um it is still apparently airing but there is nobody uploading the raw or sub versions of the show anymore so i was pretty surprised when this fan voiced out in one of my videos um saying that oh it's actually ongoing still um because i remember the last time that i watched it back in how many years ago was it? I think it was four years ago. No, not four years ago. I think it was 2016, I suppose, or maybe two or three years ago. Um, yeah, it, it mentioned that it was the very last episode of Run For Money. But then I guess apparently it continued. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't follow up to the series uh, ever since then. Um, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I keep um, touching my face, it's because I'm pretty exhausted. Um, before I made this video, I've been recording three Kingdom Hearts 3 videos in one go. Um, if you're wondering how long it takes to create one Kingdom Hearts 3 video, don't mind me, my arms are pretty tired. <laughs> um, it's roughly about four to five hours per video. Uh, that that includes the time to play the game, uh, edit the game, and upload the game, uh, and upload the play the video. Oh my goodness, I am not thinking straight right now. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm just a one man YouTuber. I have no editor. I have um, no time for myself. Also, um, so yeah, it's pretty exhausting uh, to do YouTubing by yourself. Um, those professional YouTubers like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Cinnamon Toast Ken, so on and so forth. Many of the um, well-known big shots and YouTube that have been doing gaming for a very long time. Um, all these guys have editors to help them edit videos, to upload stuff. All they have to do is just film. Um, yeah, that's pretty much an easy life, I suppose. Um, and yeah, they are able to do to get revenue off their videos, which is fantastic. Um, definitely a, um, a mark that I wish to achieve in the future. So yeah, uh, so I will definitely be trying to touch on this series soon. Run for money. I don't know whether I'll be doing battle for money. If time um, allows, I guess I might. Um, I don't know whether the stages in this one are exactly the same as the 3DS version. Um, because I kind of drop i kind of um i didn't finish the series no i didn't drop the series i didn't finish the series because the game cartridge that i originally had now doesn't belong to me anymore um it's a very sad story where i i lost a friend and uh i my friend didn't my friend didn't pass away or anything it's just that bonds were broken um and the items that i loaned to them are now no longer mine so yeah let's put it as that and okay besides gameplay and all this um i do have a lot of stuff that i bought um in the past so as you can see that's why my room has like tons of merchandise and all this stuff yeah my room is a mess it looks like a warehouse <laughs> so um i have a lot of merchandise that i wish to unbox to show you guys as well um those are coming as well so eventually slowly things will be uploaded to the channel anyway guys that's pretty much my update to you guys um hopefully you guys are excited to see all the new content to the channel and hopefully gradual changes to the video quality and um i don't know uh, maybe if i have the time to learn more stuff 
uh, in terms of video editing and all this uh, things will uh, look a bit more interesting I suppose so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching um, and staying around with my channel for such a long time uh, hopefully you guys enjoy all the videos that I make and find it useful and stuff mm -hmm. and I'll see you guys soon bye